G'day, Simon here. Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't streamed sooner than this. Uh, I've just been out wandering around. Uh, I'm in a... The, the Ritz Hotel here at Hurstville is a bit strange. I, I don't think the hotel portion is um, conventionally used, like that it's, that it's getting booked out in a normal way. I think there's a, some residents here who um, you know, are friends of the people who own it or whatnot. So it's it's given out for love rather than profit. It's I know it's weird. So I've met I've met some characters and I've had some interesting chats. Um, I am not wearing the cat I, for the first time. I I'm actually in a, just a shirt. Well, this was given to me by the Kids Cancer Project. So I actually kind of I'm starting to look like a bit more of a normal person. <laughs> you know, just in my body and and whatnot. So I'm wearing normal clothes not superheroed up. Um, the plan, so tomorrow I'm gonna, the next milestone is a town called Wollongong. It's about 90k south of Sydney. Uh, and then after that, a town called Nowra, which is about 150. So I'm thinking that for those first two towns, uh, I'm just gonna push straight down the motorway. So I've gotten a lot of advice tonight. Uh, I met a lovely lady, Michelle, who lives out at Menai, uh, who's been following the walk for a while and we had a, uh, soup at a, at a nearby Chinese restaurant and had a good chat and she's got a lot of local knowledge and there was a bloke in the pub um, David I think he said his name was got a lot of local knowledge out of him yeah thank you Tiz so it's uh, the Kids Cancer Project uh, logo which is pretty cool they gave me a shirt after we crossed the bridge this morning um, so I think I'm just going to power down the motorway maybe see if I can do some endurance walking so Weirdly, the walk through Sydney has taken endurance. It's been a slog, but it's because I have to constantly stop and wait for lights and walk up hills. and It's a different type of endurance. I, I'd like to get on the motorway and maybe just bang, power down some distance. Uh, so, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm working, working stuff out in my life, my mind, my spirit. So this big walk is, is rebuilding, repair, therapy. Um, so I've still got a need for some of that stuff, just toil, I think, you know, what's what, self-abnegation, I think it's called, where you, where you just kind of deprive yourself, you put yourself in daily toil, and it, it, it is spiritually nourishing, so I still need to do some of that, like Kona, if you ever saw the movie, the old Ani Shvachi Negar movie, uh, that was terrible, honey, um, Kona and the Barbarian, they're on this wheel of pain that they put the slaves on, and you just have to push it, and push it, and push it but it makes you stronger. Uh, that's got, the movie has that old Nietzsche quote, that which does not kill you makes you stronger. So I, um, yeah, I need a little bit of that. So I might try and power down the ball and go, you, you know, if I do it in 30K spurts, it'll take me three days. But if I do 245s, two days. See, Captain Australia knows his math. So we'll see how we go. But I feel like putting in a bit of a, putting in some case. So tomorrow I'll hit I'll head for Wollongong and I'll camp somewhere and scrub on the way there, and um, I'll keep doing that down to Nowra, uh, and from there I'm gonna there's more coasts. I'll, I'll show you some lovely beaches and some bush and country uh, as we head down towards the Victorian border. Ultimate goal being Melbourne. So that's the practical stuff. Uh, the intangible stuff. I feel I've passed the halfway point, and um, oh that's great, Kel. So thank you for letting me know the sound is good. I think I've figured out uh, when I turn these earbuds on with regard to how I'm logged into Facebook effects, how they perform. So if I've turned them on before I start the stream, it doesn't work. But if I turn them on when it's open and I'm ready to start the stream, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so uh, if you are anywhere along that route, I, I already have an obligation to meet some guys in Ulladulla and buy a number of beers together hopefully there'll be a karaoke machine but if you're anywhere down the down the route and you'd like to meet up um hit me up drop a message to caps big walk i am behind today on answering comments and messages but i will catch up before i sleep um yeah archer archer you're on my mind buddy uh, i'm so sorry that you're still going through treatment i hope that you're doing it strong you know and if you're not i hope that you can you know Take that strength, take it from people like me, from your mum, the people who care about you, mate. You, you take that and pull it into yourself.
and you let other people make you powerful because that's how it works for people. We make each other stronger. You make me stronger with your support. Yeah? So let, let me do that for you. Let your family do that for you. Let the, let the nurses at the hospital. So I hope you're doing it strong, buddy. And if you're not, take that strength. Take it from the people around you. Draw it into you. Um, what, what else do I have to mention? The auction. There's currently an auction. Um, it's a $12,000 holiday package donated by Lizard Island, and you can bid on it if you want to. So that's the sticky post. Check that out. Uh, there's something, uh, there's another, um, it's a V8 supercar experience, I think. They, they, they got in touch about donating something, so it might be cheaper than, than the um, Lizard Island holiday and still a bucket load of fun, something else to bid on. Uh, Tiz says, do you feel physically fitter too? I so admire your absolute determination. Thank you, Tiz. I, yeah, I, I am profoundly internally fitter than I was a year ago. Well, a year ago, I was uh, clinically morbidly obese. So as a result of the um, thyroid damage done by the radiation treatment, I had put on 140, I was 140 kilos. I, I, was, I couldn't walk upstairs without getting winded. Now I could, I could run with the pack on if I had to. I, I can scoot over barbed wire fences and gates and climb sand banks and do all kinds of stuff physically that, that, that is just absurd to me to imagine me doing a year ago or even before the cancer possibly, you know. So all the toil is making me stronger and it's not just physical. And there's a lesson in that for all of us. So, um, you know, suffering can illuminate joy. Suffering can be the contrast that allows you to appreciate joy, you know, um, but it can also, it can grow you, it can make you stronger. So I lost sight of that with my, my suffering after my cancer and I just allowed it to run raw over the top of me instead of leaning into it and using it to grow. Um, so that was my mistake, but I'm, I'm trying to remedy it now. And yeah, I do. I feel a lot stronger, and I, I do. I do struggle. I really do struggle sometimes, but I, I'm able to push forward. That endurance is in me. That strength is in me, and I also take it from people like my friend Archer and my new friend Haley. Uh, so you know, those those kids inspire me, and they help me to push forward as well. Uh, we got another comment. Well, wow, Captain, you're looking great. Are you doing great? When we had a chat back in Gladstone, you were looking very tired. Sounds so much happier now. Oh, Deb, yeah, uh, sorry, yeah, you're the lovely lady with the um, your daughter. You lost your daughter all, all that time ago. Sorry, yeah, I, I, I vividly remember you, mate. Yeah, I was. So in Gladstone, I was still, I hadn't really fully um, adjusted to missing my family. Oh, Michelle bought, look, I've been able to trim trim my mustache so I can eat food now without eating mustache um, but yeah the I, I hadn't I, w I was still talking about my kids <laughs> basically um, yeah I, I now I'm really I'm in the I'm in the wilds I am I'm in this experience and I'm trying to I'm trying to slow down I'm trying to be more mindful I'm trying to smell the coffee and um, I'm trying to change there are things about me that I, I, I'm trying to improve and I, I'm getting, I'm drilling down to just weird things like my shyness, my, my hesitation to speak to people. And, uh, you know, I need to do that to do a good job for the charity, but I, I need to do that to grow as a human being and to share of myself with other people too. So, um, you know, slowing down and smelling the coffee is also about, you know, slowing down and meeting people and, People do, we have these pauses where we're looking at each other and I want them to say hello to me and they want me to say hello to them and then we just walk past each other, you know. So I, I don't think those moments belong in my life anymore. So, you know, I'm changing stuff like that. Um, Barbara, Barbara Kofteros is watching and Lynette says, Hi, Barb. Chunk, why eight, hey, Chunk? Chunk, you're a lovely bloke, mate. Um, chicken comments, Team Archer, thinking of you, little mate. All the best for you and your family. Yeah. 
yeah, so I, I think Friday he'll be done. Or maybe Friday. Yeah, she said it was a, a five-day thing and it started this week. So it'll be good to get out of hospital, hey, Archer? So, yeah, uh, tomorrow Wollongong, now right after that. And the lay of the land, land beyond that, I'll figure out when I'm there. Yeah, so I don't like to plan more than a couple of days in advance. Did you get to Kirawee? Mark, no. I, I'm, at, I'm very near Kirawee. So this is um, Hurstville. So uh, people supporting the walk had gotten in touch with a venue here, the Ritz Hotel at Hurstville, and uh, they've donated a room. So the, um, the, the kind people who own and operate it have given a complimentary room here. And this is what it looks like. It's all very, very nice. And, oh, you want to see... So I've got a new Captain Australia uniform as well. Hang on. Oh, old man. Toddle, toddle. Um, let me... I won't put the whole thing on. I'll show you tomorrow. But... Uh, so this is the Desert Warrior Captain Australia, okay? So my floppy ears on my green one... They're now nice and pointy. We've viagra it up with the ears, okay? So, uh, you know, put the glasses on. There you go. So, you know, there's a matching. So it's not it's not the military green. It's more of a, you know, brown, lighter sort of khaki color. Um, so, yeah, now I've got three. I've got the, the blue high-vis one, this one, and the, the green one. So I'm, I'm just I'm tolerating the weight of the pack really, really well. So I figured might as well as get this. Um, so we've got a comment. Let's see. Awesome. I'll look out for you on the highway in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. That sounds like you, you, you know, want to go Mad Max on me there, mate. Um, keep up the great work. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Um, Captain Australia, why are, the t why are the TV stations getting behind you? Why aren't they? Um, look, well, they kind of have uh, to a point. So with the whole Sydney crossing, I don't know. There's other stuff going on. I didn't give them enough notice. I don't know. Um, I think the arrival to Sydney, if we'd had a bit of media coverage, would have, would have been great. Well, all the media coverage is great for the charity. It really is. Um, and you guys have also been <laughs> relentlessly writing to them as well. Um, you know, the Today Show has covered the walk twice, before the walk and on the day I departed the walk. The project did their lovely story. Um, I think they're all interested in doing a follow-up too. I think they just must have had other stuff on. So I do think we will get a mugger gangster. What? Where? Who? What? Yeah, I'm a gangster. Oh. Yeah, I'm a gangster. Now I'm going to go to the show, bro. Oh. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't. I can't fix it. Can't afford therapy. Matt Martin, it's awesome what you're doing. Well, thank you. Yeah, so it's all... Uh, I mean, there's levels to it, I guess. Uh, at its fundamental, I'm just trying to help a really, really worthwhile charity, you know. Um, the Kids Cancer Project, it's it's wonderful. It's about it's about solving a, a problem that needs to be solved and it's about going right into the, the, the fundamental root of the problem. It's it's pulling back the the death numbers and the, um, the, the treatment side effect numbers for paediatric cancer. Great charity. And then there's also, I'm trying to share in my, this like weird pilgrimage, this quest of personal healing and share that with you in the hopes that it's just a, a positive thing. I want to breathe positive um, hope into my own life. And if, if sharing that with, with you helps in any way, or even just one person, I'm delighted by that. So you know, that that dimension to it is, is hugely humbling and rewarding as well. And I'm, I'm having fun too. I walk, I, I mean, people um, who see me in the superhero costume today and they had no idea who I am and what I'm doing, some of the looks on their faces, it's just, it's just a raw, absolute delight. It makes, it just makes me happy and I can carry that with me. And when I get down to Melbourne, I don't know what's next for Captain Australia. I think I might give give the costume to somebody more worthy. Like I met this guy Jock. He's he's a he's a wonderful human being. So he's he's helped 
all these communities through times of fire and flood and strife. He, he's been manning a uh, like a tractor to knock back bush that was threatening homes. And, you know, the rural fire brigade was saying, get out of there, you just get out, just get off the tractor and run. He's like, no. Uh, and he, he kept going uh, despite the peril to himself. And he has no interest in being praised. He has no interest in any of that. He just wants to do the right thing and help his communities. I think he got Australian of the Year for his community. Lovely bloke. So maybe maybe I'll talk to him if he wants to be Captain Australia once I get to Melbourne. Uh, Bernie Mathers says, hi, Cap. What happens at the end of the walk? Do you fly back to Brisbane? Yeah, I put on my big red cape and da 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 And if I had a big red cape, the world would be in trouble because I would righteously right some wrongs. Um, yeah, I'll, go, I'll, I'll probably jump on a, a flight home as quickly as I can. But I'm aware that when I arrive in Melbourne, it's another chance for media. And um, it's possible that I might need to stay in Melbourne for a while, you know, to go on a couple, <clears throat> a couple of different programs. And um, you know, that that's it's going to help the charity. So if it, if it's going to help the charity, I'm on the hook to do it. So even though I will have made it to Federation Square, I will fall to my knees. I will kiss the earth like the Pope getting off an airplane. I will I will I will make love to Federation Square, and then I would just want to run home and be with the people that I love. I I the charity might need me to linger for a bit. So I might be there for four or five days doing media stuff, hopefully, because if I am, it means ching, 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 ching for the charity. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, Tiz Davy, saw you dancing on the bridge. It was wonderful. You were dancing in the rain. Others could learn a lot from your determination to pass on the positive vibe. Wonderful, was it? Oh, thank you. I, I think I'm pretty graceless. Um, I'm glad if, if people find it to be funny or joyful, I'm, I'm delighted. That's the best I could hope for, to be honest. Natalie Chandler, we hope to come out and cheer you on as you go through the Shire, but we are in ISO with COVID. We'll spread the word and we'll donate tonight. Oh, that's lovely. So the, any donation goes directly into paediatric cancer research. And the beauty of this fundraiser is, although the charity came across the bridge with me today, there, there's no overhead for them. They're not managing it. It's just this buffet in a superhero uniform doing it a different way. And um, that means that there's no cost. So they don't have to subtract, you know, the cost of television advertising or any of that. So it's straight into research, every dollar. And that means, you know, hopefully saving children's lives or improving children's lives. Kids like Archer. Archer, Archer, Ardily Archer. I'm going to shout you out every bloody time, Archer. And Haley, Haley, ha ha ha, Haley. Um, so yeah. Anyway, sorry. I'm, uh, I might, I might, uh, I'm going to FaceTime a family and then have a little sleep. Oh, the telly's on. You've just been looking over my shoulder watching the Big Bang Theory, haven't you? Yeah, it's more interesting than me. Um, but yeah, sorry. I'm sorry you've been ISO there. And uh, if there is anybody who would like to meet up. Just drop me a message. I I'm, might be slow to respond, but I will respond to every single message I get. And if you want to meet up, I'd be delighted to. Slappy slap, Jake, how are you? Did your flag get any damage when it got caught on the bridge? Yeah, it did. And Callum, yeah, Callum's a lovely boy helping his big brother like that. Um, yeah, it did. So it's got some rips and stuff. I actually have a spare one at home that I could get sent forward to me, but it's still okay. You can still read it. And it's like the... If anybody's noticed, the arm on my main uniform is all ripped to tatters as well. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think showing that I've actually been in the shit a little bit, and sorry, I didn't mean to swear, um, it, it kind of it speaks to the that I've, that I've come a long way, you know, and that it, there has been toil. So the flag suffered, my uniform suffered, and I've suffered, but I've also had tremendous joy. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I will... Um, I'm very comfortable here, you know, watch a bit of TV maybe before I sleep, but first I want to stream to my family, uh, FaceTime my family, and uh, I take great joy in that, so forgive me if I rush off, but I really want to see my kids and my wife. Um, thank you so much for your time and interest, so it's Captain Australia's Big Walk, and it's me walking from Brisbane to Melbourne. I've made it to Sydney, and I'm going to make it the rest of the way. I have no I have no doubt. The only thing that will stop me is serious injury. 
Um, and yeah, the the it's all in support of a charity called the Kids Cancer Project, but it's also about hope and healing. And it's about showing you in a concrete way that a broken life can be fixed. And I think I think some of you have been watching enough that you can see, you can tangibly see that, can't you? Like if you saw the video that I made, that walking towards hope video that I made when I was at my lowest, and you looked at me now and you compared the two, I think you can tell, like you'd see that's what hope looks like. And the, the message is that's available. That's something like anything I can do, you can do, absolutely. So that means that it's in us. We are, we are, we have this fine ability to create hope and share it with each other. So that's the message of it anyway. So all the best. Um, thank you so much for your time and interest. And uh, tomorrow, Wollongong. Well, I won't get there tomorrow. Tomorrow I set out for Wollongong. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.